I'm Kate Gerritsen, I'm the Public Art Coordinator for the City of Ballarat and we're here today at the Peter Laylor statue by Thomas Nelson McLean. It's in Sturt Street Gardens at the corner of Dawson and Sturt Streets. The statue is one of many sculptures featured in these gardens, including the Queen Victoria statue and the monumental Boer War Memorial opposite the Town Hall. The work is said to be a striking likeness of Laylor, who was remembered as the leader of the Eureka Rebellion. The artist has even depicted Laylor's missing arm, which he lost in the Eureka Rebellion efforts on the 3rd of December 1854. The cast bronze statue stands three metres high and it's mounted on a pedestal of polished Aberdeen granite. The pedestal is decorated with four bronze relief panels, which depict major events in Laylor's life, including the Battle of Eureka and his time at Parliament House. Laylor was first elected Speaker of the House in 1880 and presided over four consecutive parliaments, finally retiring from public office due to failing health in 1887. The statue was gifted to the citizens of Ballarat by James Oddy, who was a founding member of many institutions in Ballarat and the first chairman of the municipality. Oddy had witnessed the deaths at Eureka Stockade and was understandably moved by the events. And he had a great admiration for leaders of the rebellion and those who fought alongside them. The British artist Thomas Nelson Maclean sculpted Laylor and the sculpture was cast in England as lost wax casting at the scale was not available until the mid 20th century in Australia. Maclean worked entirely from photographs and personal descriptions as he never visited Australia. The commission cost £2,200 at the time. The sculpture was unveiled by then Premier of Victoria Duncan Gillies on the 26th of January 1893 to a cheering crowd of thousands. Such was the popularity of Laylor and the appreciation of the Eureka Rebellion efforts.